Hey guys, Chelsea here from Making Manzanita, and today we are going to be answering another frequently asked question about painting. Do I need to use primer before painting? Now, most painting professionals and paint companies will recommend applying a primer before painting. You'll probably even notice that it's recommended on the back of your paint can. But if you're anything like me, you're probably trying to find all the ways that you can paint either faster or cheaper. So you're probably wondering, do I really need to prime before painting? Can't I just skip that step? We're gonna answer that today. Let's start with the basics. What is primer? Primer is essentially a kind of sticky flat paint that creates a perfect skin for new paint layers by providing a really porous surface for the paint to adhere to, and it also hides surface stains. Now there are several different types of paint primer out there, ones that are made for high moisture areas like bathrooms, ones that are made for covering stains or dark paint colors, ones that are made for drywall and more. You're probably gonna notice when you go to buy paint on most of the high quality cans of paint, it says it's a paint and primer in one. Now that's not necessarily what I'm talking about in today's video. We always use a paint and primer in one when we're painting walls, regardless of the condition. I'm talking about situations today where you need to use a separate coat or two of just primer, ideally something made for specifically your situation before you go to paint. All right, let's start with interior walls. So you always need to prime before you're gonna be painting on bare drywall or newly textured walls. Drywall texture is really porous, which means it's just gonna soak up all that paint if you apply it without primer. So you want to be sure to use a drywall primer to avoid this. Next, patching nail holes. Now, sometimes the material that you use to cover the nail holes, whether it be joint compound or spackle, is gonna show through on the paint sheen. It creates either a shiny or a dull spot where the nail hole was. This is called flashing. So if you prime over those areas, this is gonna eliminate potential issues. Next, painting over a darker color or walls with stains. Um, you definitely wanna use a primer for this. I would recommend a stain blocking primer to prevent the darker color coming through or the stains coming through on that new coat. And lastly, in some cases, when you're changing from a high paint sheen to a low paint sheen or a different type of paint, latex to an oil, you can, um, you'll come into some issues. So it's always a good idea to prime before um, when you're changing sheens or paint types. Now, let's move on to other types of painting. How about furniture? It is uh, usually recommended to prime furniture before painting, but it's not absolutely necessary every time. It truly depends on the type of furniture you're painting, the paint, and the color. So if you're painting on stained wood, the stain may bleed through on the paint. So definitely keep this in mind. I like to test a small inc inconspicuous area on the furniture first, or if you're feeling like it, just prime everything anyway. Here's a quick example of a vintage desk that I was painting with chalk paint and I skipped primer. And about halfway through the first coat of paint, I noticed all these stains poking through on the paint. So I quickly pivoted and decided to add a coat or two of primer before I moved on to painting. Next, if you're painting laminate furniture, which is super slick, you definitely need a primer to help with adhesion. It'll help the paint to adhere to the surface. All right, let's talk about painting wood. So if you're gonna be painting on bare wood, priming is absolutely necessary. Wood has tannins in it, and those will bleed through the paint if you skip this step. Now, some types of wood may bleed through more than others, so it's always best just to prime. You'd rather be, you'd rather be safe than sorry. Um, if you're working with a sealed wood, just be sure you sand it down or strip it and then prime and paint. So using primer will create like the perfect canvas for your paint to go on smoothly. It's gonna cover stains and really it makes it more economical than applying multiple coats of paint. So understanding when and how to use primer is really key to getting a long lasting and professional paint job. And in the long run, it's gonna save you time and money. So even if you're tempted to skip it, applying primer before painting is an important step. All right, to summarize, you definitely need to prime if you're gonna be painting over newly textured walls, patched areas with fresh drywall joint compound, if you're painting over dark walls with a lighter color, if you're painting stained walls, if you're changing paint type, like from a latex to an oil or painting, changing paint sheens, and if you're painting wood furniture or bare wood. You can generally skip priming if you're gonna be painting clean walls in good condition with a similar color and you're using a high quality 
paint and primer in one. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a thing or two about primer and painting. If you have any other questions, just let me know in the comments. And while you're here, we would love it if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel. We share weekly DIY and renovating videos. All right, see you next week. Bye-bye.